In this video, I'm going to show you how you can populate a weekly schedule by people's availability. In this situation, we have a, a volunteer situation where they need two people during the day, one person at night, and one person in the evening. Now, on this other chart, the volunteers have the opportunity to go through and say when they're going to be available to work. So to, to volunteer. Now these names are from the random name generator. So if your name appears here, you're very lucky. Now, each of them have placed a Y in the days or the evening or the night that they're available for the next week. By using this, the macro will complete this schedule with those who are available. So let's click the populate to run this. Now, there you go. You have um, people put in, put in all the slots that they are available in. Now, each of the slots that have been placed have, a, have been colored uh, blue, and that's just so that we know these ones have been used. So you're short a few people here. So for example, um, you're short an extra person for Monday day and Monday night. And the same thing for you're missing somebody on Wednesday day and Thursday day. So what you do is you're, you go back to your um, people and see if you can get some of them more to volunteer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an extra a few check marks in for Monday um, day and evening and um, Thursday day and evening. So let's go over here and let's go down and see who hasn't done anything. Um, so Monday day, let's put this person in and put a Y in here simply. And then we need another one um, for the night. So let's put um, this person in. And then we're going to go over to Thursday and do an extra day. And so then we're going to go, yes. Now, on Thursday, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in about three or four days just because I want to show you what happens when there's too many. And then I'm going to put in um, an evening here. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our chart and I'm going to populate it again. So now what it's done is it's put everybody in and uh, it has not ruined the original schedule, but we because we have them colored that they have been slotted and they're, they're missed. And then we have the extra ones that aren't um, that aren't slotted that you have too many people there and they're just not colored in. So that's how you can populate a schedule with uh, people who have um, told you their availability. So now let's go and look at the code. So basically what I've done is I'm declaring R and C as long, and those are for rows and column. Row uh, A is availability and C A is uh, column availability. And so the last row is the active sheets, row count 10, and uh, it's going from the bottom and counting up. So now, what we're going to do is for the 2 to 8, which is uh, Monday to Sunday, um, what we're going to say is if, if the column is 2, then what you're going to do is add 9 to 2 to get the availability. So if we look at the chart here, um, 2 is Monday, and you add 9 to 2, and you get 11, and so that's day of Monday, so that's how that works. And so that it's worked all the way down. Now, for the first time slot, you go R availability and C availability. And in, now it's checking for if there is no interior color because we're coloring them when we, we place them. Active sheets, R available, C available, value equals Y. Then active sheets L interior. Now we're changing the color. And active sheets, R, C. So now we're going back to the other cell here. And we are uh, placing the name in there. Now what I've done for the last line of code here is I'm totaling up the number of hours these people have, have put in. And so if you go 
to the edge of um, their availability chart, it tells you how long, how many hours they've worked. They, um, this person has worked 12, 24 uh, hours a day, and this person's worked in 24 a day and uh, 12 at night. And so the day shifts are 12, 12, the night shifts are 12, and the evening shift is eight. And so this has totaled them up. Now, the code basically repeats for each, um, each day and each section of the, of the, um, of the schedule. I, if you notice too, I have, um, I don't have a date specified in this calendar, but what I've done is I've declared everything as active sheet. And so you can, um, you can go to another sheet. I've copied it to another, uh, a few sheets on here. And so that if you wanted to put the, the month as the, um, as the sheet title here, or the week as a sheet title here, then you could go to the next sheet, and then you're all set up and you, it will run again. So let's just put in a couple here, and the code's done for active sheet. So I'm just gonna go here, and then we'll just put, put in a few for the first row, and we'll sh so sh see how it works, and it works fine. So you can keep doing it every every time on every other sheets because the code is written as active sheet. I will, of course, include um, the visual basic in the description of my video. If you like what I'm doing, check out my introduction to VBA course. Please subscribe.